welcome. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Happy Valentine's to all you water signs. Okay, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back, water signs. Um, this is the energy vibration love reading for um, the month of uh, um, Valentine's. I want to say um, thank you for returning. Um, this is new. This is so, so, so new. Um, as of uh, this month, we are going to be doing all the love readings in zodiac elements okay so your water signs so this reading is going to be for the pisces the cancer and the scorpions okay so what is happening for you guys um this video you can use the um timestamp below to receive your own personalized reading and if you'd like to have the extended use the link there to join and you can pick it up by extended okay um there's a lot of videos that, um extended videos so most of the readings have extended videos so if you're interested you can pick it up there for the extended readings okay ladies and gentlemen let's get in it um first we're going to do the general reading for the energies for you water people and then we're going to be going deeper per sign so with first start with cancer pisces and then scorpions okay use the link below to pick up uh, um the uh the the um your specific zodiac energy so let's go in there and see what is coming out for love for you water sign i see open relationship is coming up for love for you water sign however that is coming up however that is looking open relationship is here for you water signs so um then we have control issues so some of you could be having control issues or being controlled by your partner however that is coming up um this is here then we have some of you traveling some of you maybe have to travel for work or some of you are traveling to see your partner um it's valentine's so you could be um traveling to see your partner so however this is plain for you this is coming up then I see the wallflower, whatever um, this issue, this situation is all about. I see the energy of the wallflower is here. And I see new love coming in for you, wallflower. So if you haven't been in a relationship for quite some time and you have been wondering and waiting and hoping, a new person is, new love is going to be coming in. Some of you who are traveling, there could be new love coming in. Some of you could be starting open relationship also i see love triangles and some of you wallflower people are going to be realizing that your partner is in a love triangle okay you're going to be finding out that you're in a love triangle i see a lot of passions coming up for you water sign people so let's see who are going to be eating the passions because a lot of passions are coming up for you water sign people now you end the month, especially for you people between the ages of uh, 18 and 25 in the month, um, in the, uh, being caught up in love triangles and having a lot of passion. So um, young men between the ages of 18 and 25, um, you are leaving the month um, having a lot of passion, but it's caught up into love triangle. The center is the, of the month is you... Um, um, um chocolate brown men so you are centered in this month um check out the extended readings because i think you guys came up also in the extended readings so this month is really going to be having effect on chocolate brown men um some of you could be traveling to see uh, someone or someone could be coming to see you and i see some of you are going to be finding um someone who hasn't been in a relationship but you're already in a relationship but I see you're going to be taking advantage of this situation. So you chocolate brown men, I see you're meeting someone new. There's a lot of passion and you are connecting um, with different people. So be aware of what is coming out. Um, uh, it is a month where I see that uh, some of you chocolate brown men are very passionate about someone and they could be controlling you or you could be controlling them. Uh, same goals for chocolate brown men. You could be um, traveling to see 
someone that you're in a um, love triangle with so be aware of that but um, I see a lot of people are thinking about um, getting an open relationship however that is coming up for you in your life but the center of this month is like you chocolate brown men are really feeling it because it's Valentine's Day and some of you have uh, um, and or in love triangles with the other but there's a lot of passion for you men that is here a lot of passion so let's go and check out and see what's coming up uh, um, for um, the Pisces I don't know I always read to the reading like that I should do it in alphabetical order but well going to be checking out the Pisces to see what is coming up for the Pisces so I see some of you um, Pisces lady who um, are not in a relationship I see your base chakra whatever is transpiring I see your base chakra so I see that um, you Pisces woman are worried about money whatever is transpiring you're worried about, about money and you're blocking the flow of love in your life in this love reading so Pisces lady be aware of this because because of money um, you're blocking um, the energy vibration of love okay um, there is a lot that is going in some of you are going to be figuring out that your partner is in a love triangle some of you are going to be finding out that your partner is in a love triangle if you feel as if something is a little bit off with your partner yes you're going to be finding out that they're in love triangle I see some of you young men are open up to love and there is a lot of passion that is going on I see you're totally totally open up however this is coming up and I see passion um, you're going to be opening up and you're going to be connecting there's a lot of passion in your life and you're going to be working through these because um, this is what you have been looking for you Pisces like to be in love I see you young men are mastering the heart of love in um, this month. Um, there is as is, is, is if you have you have what it takes, and you're bringing this into form. So this is really wonderful and really positive, because you're really connecting on a high level. Change your focus. Whatever is happening, as some of you met someone, but you're thinking, yeah, am I going to go through the same situation? No. Change your focus. Whatever is transpiring, whatever is happening, change your focus because you're going to be realizing as you change your focus, you're going to be realizing that this relationship is going to be working out. There's a lot of you who are meeting new people and there is a lot of powerful passion moments that you're going to be having. The crown um crown chakra is here for you guys so it's all about it's as if some of you your chakra system is awakened some of you might be going away on short trips and you're going to be realizing that all your chakras are opening up and this is good so whenever you meet someone it's as if some of you are going to meet someone and then you feel as if you are alive so this is good because it's someone that you you met and it's as if your whole beam of being is alive and this is going to be good choose um choose your battle wisely whatever is transpiring and whatever is happening choose your battle wisely because i see that some of you could be um um going away on vacation and um uh you're texting back because you're in an open relationship so you're with one of them and then you're texting the other they're going to be finding out and i see there is going to be a battle because this person is going to realize that um they're not the only one in this relationship because they're going to be finding out um on this getaway this weekend getaway that there is someone else so be aware find balance in this open relationship because uh, if you're with one person if you decide to be in an open relationship and you're with one person it is better not to communicate with the other person um, because um, if you choose to be in open relationship it's better just to leave the other person out of it so whatever is going on there and whatever is happening it is just better um, to 
balance out the whole situation what is going on because you're realizing how it's affecting another person so it is good um i can't tell you how to live your life but if you choose um to be in an open relationship i see one of these people are going to be very controlling because you're going to be with one person and the other one is trying to find out where you are I see um, some of you are going to be um, choosing to go internet dating, especially women that has a, have a relationship, or you're going to be going on blind dates for um, for um, the Valentine. So um, these situations are coming up for you. So however, they're going to be affecting your life. They're definitely coming up for you. So um, what is transpiring is that a lot of people are going to be um, doing internet dating. It's as if... Uh, um, you're choosing um, to find someone via internet dating, via these uh, organizations that um, bring people together. So I see a lot of that is going on, but I see some of you uh, ladies, um, uh, you're alone and you're stricken on financial support and I see you're trying to find someone. Some of you are going to be finding someone, but this person is a player, okay? So I see the energy of a player coming up. The young men or men between the ages of 18 and 45. And some of you are going to be a player or you're going to be meeting a player. So be aware of this. So I see transformation is coming up if you're in a relationship with a... Um, a chocolate brown man there could be an end to your relationship so if you're in a relationship with a chocolate brown man there could be an end to your relationship so be aware of this alrighty Pisces I'm wishing you a good Valentine's okay let me know how that went for you and I'm moving on to the cancers hey hey cancers happy Valentine I see just breed cancers. Whatever is happening in your relationship, just breed. I see some of you ladies are very worried um, about your relationship. Some of you who are not in a relationship is very worried. I see some of you because of financial stress, you're not really um, communicating in your relationship. I see um, that you are so upset about some financial situation that is going on around you. So whatever that is happening and transpire, I see a lot of you ladies, whatever um, the issue, the situation that is happening and transpiring, I see definitely a lot of you ladies. It's going to be affecting a lot of you ladies. Okay, so that is good. Um, but you're going to be changing that. Some of you, um, you know, businessmen, um, could be realizing that you um are caught up in a love triangle so uh, some of you businessmen could be let's say that you are um seeing other people but they are seeing other people also so you could be married seeing a, another person but they are also seeing another person so you businessmen are going to be finding out about this and i'm talking about um high professional businessmen um, you're definitely, definitely going to be um, finding out about this love triangle. However, this is plain and whenever that is transpire, I see this energy is definitely coming up. And what is going to be helping you guys out is basically, um, is basically finding the way to resolve these issues because I see it's really affecting you and I think it's because um, and it could be men and women professional men and women is going to be finding out if you're seen if you're married and seeing someone else you're going to be finding out that they are also seeing someone else so go check out the extended reading you have to become a member to receive the extended reading go check it out then we see reach out. Some of you need to reach out. And I see you young men are really reaching out and really opening up. Whatever had transpired with you young cancers, uh, men and women, I see you really reaching out and really trying to begin or really trying to make changes. And I see a lot of you are reaching out because you're having these extra passionate relationship with people that you're finding. 
around you and this is just so profoundly wonderful so go check out the extended reading to see who these people are and how they're coming up in your life because you guys are really reaching out around you and you're really creating these passionate relationship um, because you guys are really in love be careful the people who are having passionate relationship because I see that you are going to be um, getting people pregnant or you're going to be getting pregnant so if you are a man or a woman um, in this passionate relationship because they're so powerful the passion that you're sharing with this other person is so powerful and I see your um, creating and opening up uh, a lot of uh, like some of you um the passion um with the passion with this other person i see uh, you're getting people pregnant so um, um I expect pregnancy with these passionate relationship i see some of you will um stay in this these relationship um because the passion but yet still it feels good so a lot of you might be getting pregnant but your partner is definitely going to stay with you okay so that is good so pregnancy is is going to be here for a lot now i see a new love is coming in and i see that some of you need to change your focus um but um some of you are also feeling alone now um new love is definitely coming in so do not worry change your focus and understand that love is on its way once you call in love and you let um, the universe know how and what it is that you want you are going to be receiving this new love that is coming in okay so um don't be alone because uh, some of you new love is on its way for you cancer so then we have a situation where um um some of you are seeing someone in another city another state uh, you have to show more dedication to this person whatever is happening or whatever is transpiring it's as if you you need to also open up to this person you need to show that you're still interested I think you have a lack of interest and this person don't know um, uh, where they are or where they stand in your life so I think that now is the time that you're supposed to be finding out for yourself what exactly um, um, do I want to keep this person in my life or do I need to let this person go because obviously you need to show some effort so some of you there is someone um, who you're dealing with and whoever this person is you need to show them some effort and, um, and and put some effort and show them that you still care about them okay this person could uh, um, could be um, in another city um, you need to open up and show them um, that uh, you care about them okay let them know that okay giving and receiving cancer is going to be a situation because some of you are going to be finding out uh, um, that your partner if you're seeing someone in another city you're going to be finding out that your partner is seeing someone else okay so or your partner is in, a, in an open relationship or you are in an open relationship however this is coming up it is going to be coming out and i see you have to give and receive because some of you did not tell your partner that you were seeing someone else or you were married and i see that they are going to either find out about this or um the other person is going to be asking you you know how and some of you are going to be finding out that someone else who you're seeing is seeing someone else they're in an open relationship or they're going to be finding out that you're in an open relationship however this is coming up it's all about giving and taking okay so i always say to people give out what you um what you can take i see some of you who were in a relationship is now leave, um leaving this relationship and um some of you were waiting 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 to find the right person because you were in an open relationship you were waiting waiting to find the right person and i see you're going to be finding the right person i see you're going to be very much dedicated to this person um however it is coming up for you in your life i see that this is going to be working out very 
very positive in your life so I see that some of you have been waiting for the right person and you're going to be meeting that person it's it's not coming up as a twin flame or a soulmate I see that it's just someone that you're going to be positive aligned with and this is going to be good so wonderful alignment of energies that is coming up wow love abides okay so new love is definitely coming up twice the energy of new love is coming in and um, for the people who are going to go via internet or um, via um, website looking for love I see you're going to be unexpected finding new love okay so whether that was in a controlling relationship I see that by going via websites you're going to be finding true love unexpected uh, um, most of the time unexpectedly um, people who do not believe in this they are the ones that always go and find true love of their lives so I see this really coming up for you cancers and this is really good because um, uh, some of you are going to be finding this person some of you have not been in a relationship and then you're gonna think okay um i have a little money i'm gonna try um website dating um and it's going to be happening for you so this is uh, going to be perfect ladies and gentlemen the outcomes of love in this month is that some of you are going to be having some challenges time and it has to do with the people who find out that they're in open relationship or their partner are having open relationship I see the chocolate brown men are going to be affected also by this challenge of time because um, uh, your partner is either going to be finding out or you're going to be ending some relationship. So whoever you as a chocolate brown man is, I see you're going to be having a lot of challenges, situation in relationship in this month because you're going to be pulled in different directions. So be aware of this okay righty so um um cancers i'm wishing you a lot a lot um there's another message that some of you chocolate brown men could be um find out if you are cheating on your wife your wife is going to be finding out and she's going to end the relationship or on or, or vice versa okay so i'm wishing you guys a very wonderful um Oh, I'm wishing you guys a very, very wonderful um, Valentine's and I'm out. Okay, we're moving on to the scorpions. Scorpions, let's see what's coming up in love. Ooh, scorpions, I see um, relationship. I see people in marriage. This is going to be good. You're the first sign that is showing up. So marriage people, people who are in long-term relationship, this is going to be a good month, a good month, a good month for you guys. Um, wonderful, wonderful situation is coming in for you guys. Um, someone out there who was um, not seeing anyone, all of a sudden you're going to be meeting someone. Uh, you, you could have met the person before or you're going to be the first in a beginning from the month but this person is going to end up marrying you also so this is good for married people so this is wonderful alignment of energies for the married people this is looking good for you cancer so if you're married um cancers it's looking good i see happiness and joy and i see some of you if you're looking for a relationship multiple opportunities are going to be coming up especially for people uh 50 years and older if you decide um that you want to go in a relationship i see multiple opportunities are going to be coming up for you guys so it is very very positive in love um for you scorpions okay scorpions this is a scorpion reading all right i see some of you uh, young scorpions who were um in love triangles are going to be leaving that behind you in this month so whatever that was happening and transpiring i see a lot of you that was in love triangles and i see you're turning your back and leaving this behind however the situation and whatever that was transpiring it is as if yeah uh now i see what is going on it is better for me to just uh, um leave this behind i see a lot of passion but especially the people who are having like hot passion you're realizing that 
the other person is also doing it with someone else and I see you're going to be choosing to leave this relationship and the situation behind because you realize that that's not the direction you want to go in a lot of passion is here and people who were having these um, unexpected passionate relationship with someone I see you're going to be turning this in a relationship so um, some of you could be seeing someone for the last six months to a year and you know it was like once per week twice per month that sort of a thing but the passion was off the chart I see that some of you are going to decide this is the person I want to be with so you're going to be asking the ends of marriage um, you're going to be asking this person the ends of marriage because you realize that um, this person really makes your clock tick okay so this person really brings out the best in you and they make your clock tick and I think you're going to be oh my god this is a person I want to spend the rest of my life with so I see you might be asking them to move in or um, to get engaged or to bring the relationship to a new level so um a new love is coming in for you scorpion and uh, this new love is going to teach you how to learn to trust again this new love is going to help you to change your focus about relationship and help you to trust again so whatever that was transpired with some of you scorpions with relationship i see new love is definitely going to be coming in and the love that is going to be coming in is that the love is going to help you to understand that trust is the basis of a relationship and you are going to be regaining consciousness. Let's say it like that. You're definitely going to be regaining consciousness and finding out that love is the only thing that is real. So whatever was happening, transpiring, um, whoever this new love is that is coming in your life is going to be teaching you, hey, not everyone is the same and you got to trust at some stage of your life. Okay, and this is good. All right, communication is going to be the key. Some of you are having a long distance relationship or some of you are going to be going away um, with your partner and whatever is transpiring, communication is going to be the key. Um, there could have been that some of you are um, connecting with other people, however way that you're connecting with these people. I see that you're going to be finding out and showing up because communication is the key and I see some of you could be um, dealing with a situation where you're dealing with someone um, in another city or in another state or your partner is traveling and you're communicating with this person or you're you're going to see the person or the person is coming to come in but there is some communication that some um, honest um, communication that needs to be done by you scorpions okay so however that is playing out for you in your life there is a really positive communication that needs to happen i see an elin is going to be coming between you and someone you um scorpion i see you're giving and receiving i see um there were some challenges in your relationship before but you're stepping back and you're giving and receiving and you're asking for forgiveness however this forgiveness is and however this forgiveness is coming up i see um you scorpions um um there could be a there was a challenge between you and someone else because you were seeing two people and there is a challenge but one and i see an elin is going to be coming in this is the month of love so i really see that definitely an elin is going to be coming in so however way this challenge is affecting you i definitely see an elin coming in and it's coming in in a very positive way so whatever the challenges were that you were having in your relationship um the indifference the the communication um, that you were having in a relationship I see these challenges are going to be over some of you are going to be realizing that you have been waiting and waiting for someone now this person is definitely going to be coming in some of you could have been waiting to get pregnant and it's going to be happening in this month 
So I see that some of you have been trying, waiting, hoping because you and your partner decide to have a child, but it's as if you came off the pill, but it was still taking longer than normal. And I see you're going to be getting pregnant in this month. So that is good news for someone out there that was waiting and hoping there is good news. So, all right. So I see people who were alone and was looking for a new relationship. This is going to be a, a good month. I see you're putting the zest back in the relationship. I see some of you are going to be meeting someone new and this is going to give you a zest of life again. It's as if you're going to be learning to love anew. And as you feel this zest of life flow within you, you're going to be understanding this is what I have been waiting for for a very, very long time. So this is wonderful. It's positive. It's good. It is where you decide life is full of surprises, but I'm going to be accepting this new love that the universe has sent in my life. And I'm going to be working with this a new love to make happiness and bring back harmony in my life. So this is absolutely, absolutely beautiful, um, um, Scorpions. And your outcome is that go with the flow. Whatever is happening in relationship this month, it's all about going with the flow. Whatever the issue, the situation that was transpiring, it's about going with the flow. And as you go with the flow, you're going to be seeing that things are going to be working out in unexpected ways. Okay. So, um, Scorpion, that was extremely um, wonderful. So I want to say to each and every person, um, um, this is this is a month of love and however way it's coming up for you, however way it's affecting you, it is going to be good. Enjoy yourself and know that the universe is always having your back, especially when it comes up to love. And if you are having issues and situation, the universe always have your back. So wonderful. If you would like to have your extended reading, you can use um, the link here to um join um join <laughs> join um the channel and as you join the channel you can pick it up as the extended region okay i love you guys have a wonderful valentine's namaste mm -hmm.